the hidden camera wall charger. When you open everything up, you're gonna go ahead and see you're going to have the adapter. It looks like a normal, regular adapter, wall adapter, black and sleek. It does come with the charging cables as well. It does come with the Apple Lightning for any iPhones. And then of course, if you pull it down, it does come with an additional charger right there for any Android phones as well. And of course, it works like a normal charging adapter. You go ahead with the USB, you stick that right in, plug it into the wall, and then you can go ahead and plug it into your phone and it should charge like normal. So without having any Thing obvious it just comes with the cord so that you can go ahead and charge your phone now it also has the USB to USB as well so you can actually have it charging in the wall right here and then of course you can have it plugged in to a USB bank as well other than that it does come with a micro USD USB adapter that you can actually go ahead and plug that in to your laptop or you can actually go ahead and use the USB-C slot right here, and you can directly use the adapter to connect to any phone. So as you see it right down there. And of course, the last little thing that it comes with is a little reset pick right here. I'll show you guys. So if for some reason you need to reset the device with this little hole right there at the back, you can go ahead and reset it. So really quickly, I'll show you guys how to do a quick setup here. And of course, as you guys do know, um, it does come with your user manual. You want to make sure that you guys always check the user manual. If you need any help with any instructions on how to go ahead and get that done. So of course it does have two different recording modes on the actual adapter head on the back here. Oh sorry, you have to take the first cover off. Let me just do that for you. And when you remove the cover you will see that has the camera and then of course you want to use your SD card and it can fit a maximum of 256 gigs. This one that I currently have is 128. You want to go ahead and plop that right on the top part right up there. So you want to plop it right in. It goes right in. Oops. Just make sure I did it right. So right there it's in. You want to go ahead and press it so that it sticks right in. There you go. You hear it click. And it has two recording modes. So as you can see on the right hand side, it has L and an M. So L means it's going to consistently record at all times. The M mode is for motion detection. So this is very important to know because once you plug this wall charger onto the wall, you want to make sure that you have it on either or. So if you're gonna have this wall charger, let's say somewhere in your living room, and you want to make sure that motion detection is on so it only catches people coming in and out of the living room, you're gonna go ahead and click that on to M so that it will only record in motion. So of course, as I mentioned, it'll only capture motion activity. If for some reason you don't mind that it records on a continuous time lapse, you're gonna go ahead and click that over to L. And of course, after a 24 hour, when it's full, um, what will happen, it'll re-record over the old footage. So you want to make sure that if you want to have that footage, you plug it into your laptop, your cell phone, or an iPad and save the previous footage so that any of the old footage will not, if it gets re-recorded over, you already have that footage ready to go. So we're gonna go ahead and leave it on continuous record there. And then of course, what we're gonna do is go ahead and put the face plate right back on. So these one, the face plate, oh my goodness, comes off very easily as you could see. And then what you're gonna go ahead and do, it just plops back on, 
just like that, and it closes. So there's no buttons, no lights, nothing to indicate that it is a little hidden camera. And of course, if you guys can see, the camera is right there, but of course, to the plain eye, it's hard to see that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and plug that in, and then we're gonna go ahead and get some recording happening, and then we're gonna plug it into either a laptop, a phone, or an iPad, so that you guys can see the footage. The footage does come in uh, 4K 1080p, so we're gonna go ahead and plug that in there. And it is recording as we speak right now. So of course, no lights are indicating that it's on, and nothing is basically showing that it's a hidden camera. If you were to plug in your USB charger right here, and let's say you wanted to go ahead and charge your phone, let's go ahead and grab my phone, you plug it in, and there you go, my phone is charging like nothing is going on. Phone is charging and the camera is recording. So the adapter will do what it's supposed to do, is record, but it'll also charge your phone at the same time. So with the older design, which is the one that I have right here, the only difference is that it upgraded from uh, allowing it to be 128 gigabytes to 256 gigabytes, and the only difference is the design itself. So let me quickly show you the older version. 